Hello everyone, my name is Vibos and welcome to the presentation of Neural Emotion Director, a novel method for controlling the emotions of faces in videos in a speech preserving way. Our proposed manipulation method makes the actor of an input video express different emotions while carefully preserving the lip movements. The transformation of the expressions can be conditioned either on discrete emotion labels or on reference videos depicting specific expressive styles. You're trying always to get that across. You, you, you want what you're doing to appeal to a larger audience. That's sort of part of the thing. I mean, you get a paycheck for it, so you want them to like it. Such a photorealistic manipulation of the emotions could be greatly beneficial for movie post-production, as well as a wide range of other creative applications, like content creation, visual effects, video games, or extended reality. Early approaches aimed at achieving accurate synchronization between multiple pre-recorded facial performances with different emotional states. Recently, generative adversarial networks have been used for translating face images to different emotions without the need for parallel data. Until very recently, most of these works were designed for static images. In the last couple of years, there have been some works designed for videos, but these are not directly related to the explicit control of the facial emotions. Our pipeline consists of three different stages. Given an input video, we first segment the depicted face and register it to a parametric 3D face model using the recent DECA method, which disentangles the face expressions from the identity and camera pose. This way, we map the emotion translation problem from the image space to the space of 3D expression parameters. We then pass the sequence of expression parameters to our GAN-based expressions translator, which transforms them according to the conditional style vector. This vector is either generated by user-specified labels of emotions or extracted from an arbitrary reference video depicting a specific expressive style that we want to imitate. After that, we use the translated expressions along with the original identity and camera pose to generate a computer graphics rendering consisting of a rasterized semantic texture, a 3D shape, and the eye pupils. Finally, our GAN-based face renderer maps this intermediate rendering to a realistic face of the target actor, which is composited onto the original background. The emotion manipulator is optimized using expressions from multiple videos of talking faces, while the face renderer is optimized independently for every new target actor in a self-reenactment fashion. During training of the emotion manipulator, we use a separate mouth loss, which helps preserve the lip movements. We conduct extensive experiments, showing that our method outperforms previous methods in terms of realism and speech preservation. Poverty prevented childhood diseases. I mean, it's so, I can't even believe what they do 365 days of the year. She had her dark suit and greasy wash water all year. For our quantitative comparisons, we seek to reconstruct emotionally annotated videos by defining the target emotion as the original one. NED yields the best results in every metric. Finally, we show additional results by NED on our YouTube Actors dataset. And it goes, the park is open 24-7, 365, <laughs> every decade, every goddamn century. That A lot of grandmothers do raise their grandchildren, sure, sure. but he was really, and I think rightfully so, was really connected to the idea of her being a mother in kind of the... Not me, and not Eddie Murphy. He walked out on him. He said no, and good for him. But when the man who said yes to Norbit... the Auschwitzian as aspects of uh, the slave trade in America. My movie deals with that. Then there's the cathartic violence. He loves dress up, doesn't he? Um, versatile. He's versatile. No, he is. Bit of trivia for you, actually. Eddie Murphy. Thank you. More results can be found in our website.